My name is Kathy Belargen. I'm the volunteer supervisor here with Anders Goggin Home Care and Hospice. Volunteers are not here because they have to be. They're here because they want to help somebody. There's visiting with patients under our home care program, our community care team, our um, hospice program. Any program that we have, we offer volunteers. They love what they do. A lot of our volunteers have actually come on board because they have had an experience with the agency. My name is Janine Blay and I'm a volunteer at Andrew Scoggin Home Care and Hospice. About two years ago, I lost my husband and he passed away at the hospice house. And so I figured that I needed to return the services that had been given to him. It, it's been, it has made me less lonely being without my husband because we were always together. I really like it here, and the people are so friendly, and they appreciate you. That's the big thing that I have found working over here. You can't, you can't do enough for them. They're just so happy. My name is Dale Gowell. I've been volunteering for six years now. I've been doing therapy dog work for like 19 years, and I came here one day. I wanted to volunteer with my dog, and they had no policies in place, so they w wouldn't let me in, basically, because they said they had to approve it with, you know, the main office. For the first couple of years, I was, like, the only person in the program, but now we have, I think, six or seven dogs. You know, I get a certain sense of accomplishment that I actually started this program, so it does, you know, it's not a big thing, but it, it makes me feel good. My name is Melissa Johnson. I am a greeter here at the hospice house. I've been here going on five years. Um, I, I started this because I had a friend who was here and I came to visit. And I was so blown away when I walked in of the atmosphere of the whole place. I deal with the people who are coming in. I also get to see a lot of families, the part you don't expect being here, um, I see a lot of families gather in the kitchen or gather in the, the family room around the fireplace and it's not always sad. There's a lot of laughing because they're together and I really, I really enjoy that. Then we have other volunteers that are here uh, just because they, they have a need to help other people. Um, they may not have even known anything about our agency. Uh, when they first came on board, but once they learned, they, they really stay with us for quite a while. When we, when we both retired, uh, we debated what to do for volunteer services, and Gail immediately said, uh, hospice. I was not 100% convinced, so I said, I'll take the training. I'll make a decision after the training and after we've done some visitation. And here I am two and a half years later. <laughs> it's great to see the smiles on their faces. But we have considered an honor and a privilege to serve as hospice volunteers. I, I, just, I just knew that this was my calling, was to be with people. And I love it. Volunteers um, have a huge impact on what we provide to our patients and families and the community. We really could not do the work we do if it was not for our volunteers. It's opened me to how wonderful this place is and how much they do.